Gomez is a character that I've loved for such a long time just as a fan. Uh, even reading Charles Adams' uh, uh, um, comic strip. And, you know, Raul Julia being one of my, you know, biggest inspirations and seeing what he did with, uh, with that character and so then getting my chance to, to put my spin on it. Um, I was just really happy to be back and be back with this weird, wild family. Gomez uh, is feeling like he's having trouble connecting with his children, particularly with Wednesday. Um, you know, and I, I think he feels like uh, the family needs something to just uh, come together again. So he decides, like all great dads, to, to do a family vacation, that that's going to be the thing that's going to uh, really uh, tighten their bonds. And so that's where, that's where we start the whole, the whole story. The family goes on this adventure across the United States, uh, hitting all the major tourist spots, the Grand Canyon, uh, the Alamo, uh, and, um, and uh, they pick up some very interesting folks along the way. What's so fun about it is that they're, they're like every other family with their weird idiosyncrasies and, uh, and, uh, and so, you know, what they find the most joy in is the macabre and the, the ghoulish and the strange, but that's like what really makes them so happy. So when they go to these places, uh, that's the thing that they pick up on, all like the darker elements of these things that most of us look at and just think like, oh, it's, a, it's just a beautiful vista. Yeah, they go to the Niagara Falls and they, you know, they want to get in barrels and go down the side. Charles Adams made these incredibly iconic uh, comic strips uh, that just, uh, you know, uh, really underline the darker elements of, um, of family life and in some ways just inverted the things that, that most families go through. Um, so I think he took this idea of these outsiders, these, these um, you know, almost monstrous type characters and put them all together like a regular American family. Uh, and that's where a lot of the comedy comes from. Um, and I think that there's just something about outsiders and uh, people that aren't accepted, people that are not part of the mainstream, and seeing that as strange and as weird as they might seem, they're actually just as loving and human and um, unique uh, and deserving of, of love as anyone else's. Well, I think that the the thing about the Adams family is, as strange as they are, and as, as uh, their their aesthetic is very particular, but we see how much they love each other. We see how much how kind they are, and even though the stuff you know the things that they love are seemingly dark and off putting and scary to a lot of people, for them it just brings them a lot of joy, and I, I think that joy is very infectious.